the likes of Hago. And as a result, we will see a pretty decisive approach onto the A point. Smoke's coming to frag, is gonna connect, it's gonna down, so rather tag so many members of Hago. And as a result, it's easy picking soon enough. First one gonna go down, that's Sydney, that's Forlund, that's the third, and Lemon, even though we did have actually an assist go to. Uh, team kill. Yeah, an assist there. It's uh, not gonna happen. It's and still now it's all down to MHL. With the scout, no bomb, and is enough to expect something out of it. And right now, yep, we'll see a nade flying by and soon enough. Doesn't quite connect on the Fiku. And the bullets will uh, for MHL and Lemon and Fiku, and that's it. That is going to be down to Sydney. Sydney knows this is pretty much over, and as a result, one last ditch effort. Gambit youngster is looking to close the first map. It will happen, and with it, we'll. Gets start to happen but position is somewhat given away so Hago should have a decent time dealing with this yep that's another one falling that's lemon with another kill Sydney picks up another lemon free throughout this round MHL does drop exile is trying desperately something for his team but he is the last man standing two kills under his belt he needs to find more that is another and that is four total bring us to a 1v1 can he do it no Valiant attempt, nice try, but it is still gonna be all about Ago. Well played and getting the win. In Undefended. I mean, once those smokes dissipate, should be a shooting gallery, perhaps for interns, but as I say, that first kill is gonna go in favor of Hard Legion. That's Kinky, finding that first target. And as you said, just leaving A open like that now, it's gonna be really difficult for the retake, especially since Supra is gonna go down. Exile finds two, though. That's very important. Three targets now left versus three. Can they get more? I mean, time is running two. out. That's a three on one situation, and it's all down to Kinky, who goes down. Oh, and... Exile. Big play. You mean Gambit? Um, Gambit, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's honestly, they've done really well to change up that time. And Exile, oh my god, three members lined up. Easy peasy for him. That is just pretty much dream scenario. <laughs> 101 for Gambit. An unfortunate situation here for Fade Esports. As we will just have double magic now left. Don't give this one to Exile, please. Double magic. At the very least, take something in return. <laughs> Yeah, but will he? Guess not. He not gonna gets happen. burned down by Exile, who wow. caught the tease off guard, I must say. Yeah, with and, their pants but, down. But to be... I mean, th there's no other way to put it. Just, just, just look at the situation. They didn't even check that corner. No and, clue. And that's the first corner you have to check when coming Almost. to those double doors. I love you how that, <laughs> that angle was perfectly cautious and... He really needs to make his move here, and there we have it. Finally, gets the work done. Speedag dropping very, very low. But can Lollipop be the one with his teammate to secure this round victory on board? It seems like it's looking likely as he will fall, though. Exile. Does he have the what time? A, he does have that catch. So, in what the end. Clutch. And dropping down to 15 HP, and then he immediately just trades you. That's true, but... Forland, unfortunately, not quite the success we were looking out for. But as you see, with those tags, it's not really going to be a problem. MHL finds that one kill, but that's all he does find. And now we find ourselves in Fiku being the sole surviving member of Igo. Gambit Youngsters coming alive in a big way after that previous round. And Axel snatches a nice uh, quad kill there. And that will see Gambit Youngsters get around. I mean...